Hello everybody, welcome back to Simone no Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom, and we are in uh, the first paid DLC in the game, and it is, yeah, the Labyrinth, it's the Labyrinth, yeah, it's the easiest way, it's this quest line, this is basically the entirety of the DLC, uh, we've done a couple of the side quests already for them, or, yeah, side quests, that gets you, um, you whatchamacallit's, Marshall Methods, I believe it's the name. Marshall Methods, yeah. So you get these, which is really helpful. Um, I think this is also related to it as well. I could be wrong, but we're going to deal with that later. Uh, we're just going to finish this, and if you have enough time, we can do this one. All right, and this is still something we do not have, whatever. And this is something else. And these are the last, uh, this is the second DLC. Okay. Uh, pay DLC. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go into the lab right now, and currently we can go, skip all the way up to 80, and then we'll go to flow 100 because I think that's where the boss is. I could be wrong, but we are gonna enter here and figure that out. This is the place I've been farming for gear for the most part. If you get 500 plus, and then you beat beat one of the bosses in one of the 10 uh, every 10 floors, you can. Turn in all your orbs for items, and 500 plus gets you a gold. So uh, we're not going to be doing that this time. I use Tani because uh, yeah, this is super fast, of course. Like, look at the regular running speed. This is snail's pace, which this is such an odd location for a door. Huh, it might be this way. Um, quick recap for uh, the. How much? What? See, 39 minutes for my food. Okay, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of fighting, so it's not gonna get a lot of usage. That's whatever. I am level 132 though, which is really good. A uh, quick recap on the story for the labyrinth is uh, uh, this thing showed up all of a sudden, uh, with along with a ghost guy that that uh, took control of one of our friends. Uh, the pilot dude, the guy with green hair, I already forget his name, starts with a K. Uh, Kunbish, I believe his name, Kunbish. Yeah, I took him over, and then he told him that we would deal with the problem, and then he said okay, and then left. So now we are here, and then we're fighting uh, some bad guy because he invaded. He, uh, he is the possessed form of a prince, a king, one of those things. Of a kingdom that was that's long gone. He was a good guy, but him defending the abyss, which is where all these problems stem from, uh, made him a bad guy. So now he is the person we are fighting. That's the gist of it. Yeah, at least hmm. one thing I've noticed is it's not very common to have the door spawn next to you in this one, but. Yeah, the floors in this place isn't usually that massive. I say that while well, I can't find a lot of stores, it's actually pretty far away. The place over here it is amazing though. This is this is a very fun a place to go through all, a lot. Yeah, yeah, even more so when you compare it to like the dungeons maze, because I hate the dungeons maze. Oh gosh. The danger level was not a fun uh, was not a fun game mechanic. That game mechanic sucked. A danger level mechanic it was not necessary and the fact that this one doesn't have it make it already makes it better and even though it's the same floor every single time right like it does not change you don't go forests you don't go to caves it's the same floor wow there's two dragons I would have loved to fight them they give so much experience yeah I just have so much things to like about the labyrinth it's so fantastic yeah, the floors are pretty easy to deal with. I mean, on a just visual side and the ability to see where you can or and cannot go, as compared to yeah the as compared to the others, right? The caves and the forest, because those are not great. Yeah, the enemies here there is usually more, but they give you the amount of experience they give for your efforts in this one is significantly higher. It is massive. The, the difference in in you in the experience you gain. Oh, it's downstairs. Okay. Yeah, I'm usually uh, majority of the time I would farm 
Is there no experience jelly? Okay. Since this is a great place for experience, I mean, I'm level 132, I guess the cap is 150, which is awesome. I will be farming, I probably won't hit 50, 150, but I'll get close to that, I hope, at some point. I don't know. Yeah, the DLC is pretty fine. There was a time I hated it, but... I mean, the first adventurer pack, I think, was just all problems, I believe. I'm pretty sure the, the adventurer pack was just a big, big blemish on everything. Because uh, it was just fights, I believe. Yeah, you had Zeta, the Cosmage, you had Mazinger and all that, and it was not good. It was not good whatsoever. I hated it. Yeah, don't, oh, man, it was free, and it wasn't even worth that. I think you would have to pay someone to play that DLC. It sucks. Oh, gosh, that thing is garbage. <laughs> the Adventure Pack DLC. That thing made me quit playing this game. I was going to stop recording it. But now that I dealt with it, I finally I survived through the Adventure Pack DLC. Yeah, we now have uh, the Labyrinth one, which is just infinitely better. Uh, so I, yeah. After this, we will go through the um, second paid pay DLC, which is Tale of the Timeless something. And there's some places you can farm there too. I'm not sure exactly, but um, sounds cool. And yeah, we can go below 150 now, so it shouldn't be nearly as bad. The stack gain isn't that crazy, I believe. I don't think I've seen it be that crazy. But I mean, levels are levels, right? At stats, like it's I don't I haven't seen I don't know what the calculations are to see between you getting one shot from a move and you taking almost no damage. I don't know what those numbers are, but no, st numbers help out a lot. Just even a slightly higher stat will probably prevent you from taking a lot of damage. That's all I know. That's all I know. Okay. What how, what floor are we on? We're almost there. Oh, wait, 90 is a boss, right? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, 89. We're almost halfway there. I never went. I've never went past floor 90 just because it was not necessary. Because after I turn in my point, you can yeah yeah. Once I, when I turned in my orbs, my 500 plus orbs on uh, floor 90, I would just leave, right? That's what most people would do. So I never bothered checking any further than that. And even the boss here isn't that bad. It really isn't. Um, I think I will do this. Because uh, I do have him a business companion, but I think Gizmo Supremo is better. Um, hmm. What's the perks? You know what? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't worked on him at all. I don't have enough. I don't have to how to get everything yet. Um, Hamlet, we'll just, you know, to make things a little bit more easier for us, we'll, we'll work on this. So we do a bit more damage to him. Okay. Come on, Hamlet. Shouldn't be a big deal. Let's uh, just, yeah, get some hacks off. There we go. He's dropped on the ground. Come on. You know what? Yeah, get some of those. And there, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, do this again. Of course, I think this is considered not fun to a lot of people, but it is a time. You do have to, you know, do all the moves in time. There we go. And he's gone. So easy. You do, look at that. You gained so much between two levels. Level ups from that. Which is cool. Switch back to Tani, because she is our fast mover. Okay. Uh, the little orbs, oh, we only have 30, it's gonna give us nothing, so... I do love Ding Dong Discipline being able to give you s this speed up. Too bad it doesn't really give you much, it's very vague what it gives you. Like, by itself. It doesn't actually... I wish it t told you specifically what the what it gives you, but it doesn't. 
which I think is dumb. Like they should have, they should have told you, but whatever. Like what can you do at this point, right? Okay. We, we burn through this DLC very quickly, but at the same time, a uh, majority of the story in this DLC was uh, not much. There's not much story in this DLC if you're looking for something very in-depth, because I don't think there is that much. It's just them telling you the story about the prince or the king and, they, they, and them being now possessed by the abyss that they are protecting the world against, like, or something along those lines. And that's it. That's all the story. And then other side stories to get you the martial masteries. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what is that? Yeah, those uh, octop octopi? Experience of a lifetime. Oh, I would have loved to have done gone to this floor and farming. Because those enemies gives you a lot of experience. And this is a floor that gives you extra experience. It would be huge, but we... People don't want me to just farm things all the time, I don't think. I don't think that's considered fun, is it? I don't know. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, yeah, fight the big bad. And then we'll, uh, do... Ooh, that other side quest, I think, is also related to this DLC, and then call it. Okay. Yep, next floor, 95. Thankfully, we got pretty lucky with these doors. Hmm. It's so strange, yeah, going straight to the door, because uh, that's not something I usually do. It's very uncommon. Because the strategy usually is to uh, defeat everything in the floor and complete those objectives. Those all objectives are really good. And you get 20, 30, and 50 like for those objectives and stuff. It's really nice. That's what I try to prioritize. I'm pretty sure everyone that's farmed usually does. Because that's a lot of orbs you get for a floor just guaranteed for doing a task. Especially when it just says beat it with one with a specific teammate. It's like, oh, it's easy. Like, there's a lot of times when there's just one enemy you have to fight. Like, a really, like a slime or something like in a corner of a room. Like, oh, sweet, yeah, I'll bring Batu. I never use him anyways. Alright. And it's like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll use him for this one fight. And, yeah, you attack it, the enemy once and it dies. Like, oh, well, that was one fight, so I get the orbs. Just like this one. Like, if I find a single enemy, I could just swap to Batu and beat it up real quick. And like that, like, oh, there's your reward. Okay. Should be down here. Yep, here it is. I don't think any enemy isn't blue for me anymore. Because DLC 2 is is what gives you the one, one... You get it? The cap is 120 at this point in time during the DLC releases. So the 150 cap is from the second DLC, I believe. So, yeah, I think every single enemy is going to be blue for me. Except for maybe the boss, but, you know, I could be wrong. Actually, even uh, the Dreamer's Maze wouldn't give me a lot of... Uh, I, even the Dreamer's Maze would be blue now. It used to be red for me for a long time ago when I was level 60. And I remember those times. Not It was not fun. I wasn't fighting. I was... Most of the time, I was running away and... <laughs> Having my hickories do the work for me. I'm so happy that things have changed because as much as that was a strategy, that was not a fun strategy. But now that we at this point, it's much better. Leaf book. Oh, best of luck, King Evan. I heard that King Evan and his companions are getting closer to the bottom of the labyrinth. Oh, I just want them to know that they have all of us rooting for them. Together we will go through this long live long live evermore. Oh, thanks guys. Okay, oh yeah, Eb Swain, that's his name, yeah, that's the guy we're about to fight. The possessed dude. Okay. Here we are. Let's see, can we absolutely just annihilate this guy? Yeah. Let's see, Tactics Tweaker, I'm pretty confident this is not what we're fighting. You're probably fighting this. And we're probably fighting this, is my guess. Uh, okay. 
Uh, I'm ready. Next floor, time to fight and end this. All right, this, all right, this is how all the passages look. Okay. Yep, I'm ready. This is the final boss, right? Okay. And we got here real quick. So we have reached the deepest depths of the labyrinth at last. Look, that, that must be the rift. Oh, it's definitely wide open, no doubt about that. Yeah. Listen, you don't think we got the wrong end of the stick, do you? Maybe Lord Rem Remnus, Remnus never turned into the Prince of Wraiths after all. Maybe he's uh, back somewhere further up, somewhere safer. No. I'd say we would have run into him already if he was there to be found, wouldn't you? Only place we haven't looked is inside the rift itself. What's the big idea? Uh, be my guess, but if you want to go getting yourself sucked into an eternity of interdimensional wandering, you'll be doing it alone. And there he is. Ah, the rift. The beautiful abyss. It's the prince of... It's Lord Remnus. It is a long time now since I was called by that name. Nicker, so it's him. And there was me hoping we might be able to find old Remnus somewhere else and settle this without having to cross swords with Wraith Face by, your, by you again. But, but... They still might not have to fight him. He's still Lord Remnus under there somewhere, even with all the evil he's absorbed from the Rift. Not evil. Good. Power is good. Lord Rem Remnus, can you hear me? You have to help us. You have to perform the right again and help us seal the Rift. Ebswain yeah. shall be avenged. Your people shall be destroyed. Your king's bond torn asunder. No, you have to listen. Ebswain is gone. It vanished long ago. Liar. Deceiver. You shall not trick me. Evan, Petty Risker, Teldrum. You shall pay. Hey. I hate to say it, Evan, but I don't think diplomacy is going to win this one. You're right. Hello! As you wish, your majesty. Did you have to say hello like that? <laughs> we're, we're about to fight to the death here, man. We would do battle forevermore and for your mortal soul. Is that why is that the noise that they decided to use for that? It was so it was so off. Alright. Okay, it's time for the fight. Uh, I'm pretty confident in this, really. Alright. There we go. What the... What was that? Okay. That was close. Okay, um, I guess that was a physical attack, right? I mean, I have massively boosts experience earned. So, let's see. Greatly improves physical defense. Alright. Yeah, they still do that much damage, huh? Okay. Him chasing me around the floor isn't gonna do me any favors. Uh, we need to be able to distract this man somehow. This is... Oh no, the game's gonna go the unfun route again by one-shotting you. I My stats are, are actually super high for this game too. For this fight, it's, it's super high. Like, it's... <laughs> oh, man. The game's gonna do this to me. Okay. Um... What am I gonna do here? Uh, let's see. 
I don't know. Did they really have to make the boss do 50,000 times more damage than everything else in the game? They didn't, right? That was completely unnecessary. Okay. Yeah, look at that. This heat seeking POS. Oh gosh. Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is the worst fight I've had in a long time. This boss, he's a headhunter. Look at this man. Ugh. These are the fights that made me hate it. Hate. Uh. Okay. Are you gonna teleport to me again, huh? I use every single unfun combo to take him down. Because it's not fun. So. <laughs> it's one of these one shoddy fights. Like, it's not a fun experience. Ugh, man. I was enjoying it too, and then the, unf and then the one shoddy came along again. Alright, that's more damage. Yep. The guy likes to headhunt. The exactly what you don't want in a boss fight. Ugh, oh my gosh. What a pain. Alright. Alright. Game wants to. <laughs> oh man, I was just talking so much good stuff about this game. Why did it do this? Oh, I take back what I say. <laughs> I take back what I said about this game. God damn it. Uh. Man, they know a good way to make people not like playing their games. God. All right. Okay, let's do this six sensor. Uh, boost, boost, and then we do uh, three of these. Or four of these. Oh wow, you blocked it. Not... Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Well, I'm looking at this with it from experience now. It seems it'll be better to just I don't know. <sighs> what to do? I am actually planning on just skipping off this. <laughs> I want to play the game, game. Please, can I play the game? What to do? What to do? Uh, how should I deal with this? How should I deal with this? Um, I, is there a give up button? No, right? The game doesn't allow that. Can I just use Connie? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Wow, you have a your combos look stupid. There we go. Okay. All right, game over. Sweet. Uh, we're just gonna continue from last save. Okay. 
So we're back here. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, could see that the boss is harder than every boss I've ever fought by a massive margin. I'm not sure if it's fun enough to fight. I, I play these games for fun, right? I want to enjoy have a, and have a good time playing them. But when the game starts making the bosses not fun by one-shotting you, it doesn't feel fun. And then they have mechanics to prevent you from surviving because you have... Of course, you know, people would probably say, oh, I should probably replace my equipment, right? Like, the thing, the only problem with this, right, if I use the, where is it anyways? Um, the order on this thing is all stupid. Okay, here it is. Alright. If I go and equip the Pendant of Unbreaking or whatever, don't know where it is because, but there it is, Unbreakable Necklace, right? If I, like, if I equip this thing or something, right, it doesn't do anything. Because uh, it only takes you, you only survive one big hit, and he does a lot of small hits too at the same time. So it still wouldn't, you won't survive everything. You'll survive that one hit, and then you'll die by something else, right? Like that's what the like. It's not like you're surviving from a combo or something. Like it's Kingdom Hearts or something, right? Like that's not what this is meant for, meant to do, right? And even then, that's not something you want to do in other games, anyways. You don't want to. This is not something that you should be able to rely on. Right? Like, this shouldn't be like, oh, you don't have unbreak Unbreakable Necklace? Well, I guess you're dead, right? Because the game one-shots you. And the thing is, my level is high. Like, this is my defense right now. Look, 1591 and 1608. Is that not high enough? Like, is those defenses not high? This is gold armor I got from these dungeons. All right? And look, yeah, Mass Solution is melee attacks. Yeah, improves magical defense and stuff. More dodge chance. Right? Like... Like, all this, like, uh, it gives you, like, more, yeah, defense and stuff, right? And the, and then the game just still says, uh, no, and one-shots you anyways, right? So, it's not fun. The DLC bosses aren't fun. The game, it looks like it was so close to being really enjoyable, which is great, but it's not enjoyable. It's not, it's not a fun experience, so... That's it. <laughs> I don't care. Right? I want to do more um, content for this game. But when this is what you have to deal with, that's not something I that's not something I deem worthy to yeah, deal with to make more to do to play the game more. So as much as a, the labyrinth itself is fun, the the game developers decided to make the bosses not fun, which is kind of counterproductive for a, for a video game. You want a challenge? Sure, but one-shotting you is not a challenge. That's just not fun. Okay, like they could have done a lot of things. They didn't have to make him. They didn't have to give him one shots. Okay, they didn't have to do that to make a boss difficult. There's a lot of other games out there that doesn't make a boss one shot you. Even Dark Souls doesn't one-shot your character, and that game is supposed to be considered hard. It doesn't one-shot you. You just take a lot of damage. <laughs> There's a difference. Uh, this game decided that it wanted to be something different, and it failed it. So because of that, I'm not going to be playing this game anymore. This is going to be it. It's the last video for Nino Kuni. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the next video I'm going to be making, it's going to be a Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is going to be infinitely more fun than the bosses in this game. I can guarantee it, because it's not going to one-shot you. Because most games tend to not do that, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to have things that's actually going to be fun to do. Yeah, and this game had it too. The main story in this game is fantastic. Never play the DLC. It sucks. That's what I think of this game. And with that, I guess I'll see you in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Bye.